Hey everybody, Tom here, and today I want to teach you how to play Chai, the board game about making and selling tea. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, just a quick, right before I get started, a quick uh, disclaimer here. Uh, this is the deluxified version, this is the Kickstarter version of the game that I got, and I actually got this game uh, because I helped the designer store some games at my house leading up to SaltCon. So he just reached out and I was following him on Twitter and he said, hey, is there anyone in Utah that could help me store some games before the convention? I said, heck yeah. Uh, I even tried to refuse a copy and he kind of insisted. So um, just a heads up, that's how I got this game. So in this game, what we're trying to do is we're trying to fulfill orders and earn money. And so you can kind of see that these different cards have a point value. This card, if I can fulfill this order, will be worth eight points at the end of the game. Uh, this card here would be worth nine points and so on. So we're trying to fulfill those orders and get money. At the end of five rounds, which we're gonna track right here with the thermometer. So at the end of five rounds, we're gonna count up how much money we've got. Each, each coin is worth a point and how many points we're getting from our orders person with the most points is the winner. Now I'm playing a two player game. If this was a three or four or five player game, you would also get a point for each type of order that you fulfill. Um, they just don't do that in the two player game. So the types of orders would be the color of card. So I'll try to remember to re-explain that at the end of this video. That would be a third way to get points. But in this two player game, it's just gonna be money and the points coming from the cards. So there are basically three ways in which an order needs to be fulfilled. The most common way, oh, this is a bad card to grab. The most common thing is gonna to be to look for ingredients. So these ingredients are gonna be collected from this board right here, these square ingredients. Some cards are also gonna need pantry items. Those items are collected from the pantry, this spot over here. And also every card is gonna require one token uh, that's gonna match the different player types. So for example, this token best matches the red player's um, tokens over there. Let me see if I can grab one. Oh. Yeah, so the red player has these tokens. In order to fulfill this order, you would need one of these tokens. Um, and so essentially what that means is if the red player is fulfilling this order, they just get to spend one of their own tokens and all of these items here. If the blue player was trying to fulfill this card, they would similarly need all of these items, and they would pay the red player one coin in order to take one of these tokens. All right, so similar idea over here. Let's look at this one. The blue player would need these items, and they would just spend one of their own tokens in order to fulfill this order. If this was the red player, they also need these ingredients, and they would pay the blue player one coin in order to take one of these tokens to help them fulfill the order. And players can't really refuse that. They just take the coin and give up their token. No big deal. So that's what players are gonna try to do throughout their turn, is they're gonna do their best to fulfill either the orders that are here in the common place, or each player does start off with one card in their personal play area that they could try to fulfill. You could see the card that the red player started off with looks like this. And there will be opportunities for players to get more cards just kind of reserved in front of them rather than playing off of the common play area. Now just to kind of help you understand the timing of this game, uh, as I mentioned, it's gonna play over five rounds, which is just kind of marked with these Celsius degrees here. We're gonna slide this thing up. And a round isn't necessarily each player taking a turn. A round is gonna be when in a two player game, two orders have been fulfilled. To fulfill an order, we're just gonna drop the ingredients into the cup of tea and earn a tip. If this was a three player game, you would see three cups here with three tip jars in front, one in, each, one in front of each cup. If this is a four player game, four cups, four tips, and so on. But basically once each of the cups has been filled with an order, then we would reset the round and move our round marker up one. So five rounds and then we're gonna be done. The blue player is gonna be our first player, so they have this first player token, and they're just gonna start off with one coin. All other players will start off with two coins. And turns here are so straightforward. On your turn, you're gonna take one of these actions, and then after that, if you can and want to, you can fulfill an order, either an order in front of you or from this lineup. 
Let's just do a quick overview of what the three turns are. We'll get into more detail as we take those turns. But basically, your three, your three possible actions, you're just gonna do one, but the three actions you could take are you could visit the market. Visiting the market will get you some more money and will allow you to buy some ingredients. Or you could visit the pantry. That's how you'll get pantry items, the circular discs. Or you could reserve a customer, pulling them from the common area over here so other players don't have access to them and use a special ability. You can see I've rearranged a little bit to fit better on the table and also on camera, but basically these are gonna be three different special abilities available this round to use, so we'll talk about those more in detail later. So let's take a look at what the blue player is gonna do on their first turn. If I was gonna fulfill the order right in front of me, I would need two honey tokens and a ginger ingredient, and I would need one of these leaves, which is easy to do, I have one, those are mine. We may want to take a look at the orders here in the uh, common area. This guy is going to need one of each of these ingredients to fulfill that. Um, and I actually am kind of enticed by this, and I'll show you why in just a second. Looks like this one would need these ingredients, or these pantry items, and those ingredients. And also I would need to be able to pay the red player one coin to get one of their uh, wooden tokens. I don't remember what it's called. Um, it's like the base of a T, it doesn't matter. Anyway, so I need to pay the red player one for this and I need to have these ingredients and those to fulfill that. 12 points for this one, I'd still need to pay the red player a coin and get all of those ingredients together. Over here, I would need two milks and those ingredients and so on. So I'm pointing this out because I'm actually most enticed by this card right here. You can see I'm gonna need these pantry items and at the beginning of the game, the pantry has one of each type of item, which is perfect for that person because all three ingredients are right here. They're all available. So I think for my turn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna visit the pantry, which means I'm just gonna take three items from the pantry. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of hand waving here, but also I wanna point out, if you don't like the items in the pantry, you can always pay a coin to reset it and refill it. You also don't have to take the items that are here available. You could draw blindly, some combination of taking from here and drawing blindly. But either way, the pantry refills at the end of your turn. So the hand waving I was talking about is, I know I'm gonna forget that, so I'm probably just gonna take the items and then refill the pantry before the end of the turn, but that's the general idea. So I pointed out that I know I'm gonna want these three pieces, and so I'm not gonna spend any money resetting, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna draw blindly or anything like that. Technically, we wouldn't refill to the end of my turn, but let's just go ahead and refill while I'm here. Okay. All right, so those are the new pantry items. Let's take these back. And pantry items are kept on the plates down here like this. You have a limit of six, but if you take more in, you're welcome to exchange out and just discard down until you end up at six. You just can't have more than six at the end of your turn, you know? Well, and also, before that you can't have more than six before you fulfill an order hopefully that made sense it sure didn't sound great okay so i just took my action i just uh i just took three items from the pantry and now i can fulfill an order i'm choosing to fulfill this order of course so i'm going to take this card and this card is going to use up these items so we'll go discard those in a second and they're going to use one of these all right, hopefully you can see that okay. And then I'm gonna take this card and place it face down here. We'll be counting those points at the end of the game. But basically, I'm gonna take all of the ingredients that I need to fulfill this order. I put them in my hand, and I'm gonna go ahead and put them in one of these cups. I can choose which one, it doesn't matter. So let's go ahead and do this one. And the randomness is, what, was, what happens now is we flip over the tip, and I get whatever that shows. So I just got one coin. Wahoo, pretty good start for the blue player. Now before we go to the red player, let's just refill this row. All right, so you can see some pretty good stuff going on here. It's the red player's turn, and obviously there's kind of a lot of good things. Probably, they're all a mixture of ingredients and pantry items and all that stuff. Let's plan on visiting the market so we could talk about the market phase, because that's kind of the most fun part of this game. Now. I've been addicted to Candy Crush again recently. I was addicted when it first came out, and then I fell off the wagon, and I've been re-addicted to it. This is kind of Candy Crush-like, so let's talk about how this works. If you're doing the visit market phase, you automatically get three coins. Now, I hate making change, so usually what I do is I put three coins up here, 
and it's possible you won't use all three coins. You need to spend at least one. But you might bring more money back, you might need to spend more money, but either way, you basically start off with three coins. Now the way this works is you're looking for clumps of adjacent ingredients together. Uh, and you're going to be able to buy those. You could see the cost of ingredients are one, two, or three. Now here's why this is kind of cool. Uh, essentially, when you buy an ingredient, let's say I buy this red ingredient here. It would cost me two coins, so I would spend two coins to buy this one. And then these ingredients would slide down. Okay, well that wasn't all that exciting. But the idea here is that adjacent ingredients, ingredients that are connected either horizontally or vertically or both, those you can buy with one purchase. So let's imagine for a second that I were to buy this ingredient here for one. So I'd spend one coin, take this, and slide these down. Now I have a clump of these red ingredients together. Now these would cost me three coins to buy this whole set right here because the ingredient on the farthest to the right is under the three column. So like, uh, just for kicks and giggles, Let's, well, let's keep going with this example. I bought this one here for one. I could then buy these two wilds. Now these are gonna be wilds when it comes to fulfilling orders, but not for this phase right here. I could buy these two, oops, oh my gosh, for one to slide these down like this. I think I'm just gonna roll with this. This is good. And then I could spend two coins, so I'm gonna need to spend one more. I'm gonna spend two coins in order to get all three of these, just because they're all together and so nice, and then that's gonna slide down. So I'm gonna need to spend one more coin from what I just had. Sorry, this kind of was not great teaching because I got all excited about what I was seeing, but by spending this additional coin, I was able to grab those strawberries because, or the berries, because they were under the two column completely. I could keep going if I wanted to. If I wanted to spend my extra coin, I could grab one more ingredient. I think that I won't do that at this point. Let's just grab these ones and run while we're at it. Ugh. Come on. And we're gonna go ahead and put these up here. So same idea, pantry items, you're limited to six. With these ingredients here, you're limited to 12. I should probably keep similar things by each other. We've got our wilds. We've got our lavender. I don't know what that is. Whatever. Okay. But that was the market action. And now I wanna ask myself, can I fulfill any orders? Probably not, because I don't have any pantry item. I don't have, I don't know if this, I should have looked this up. I feel like that's marshmallows, but I don't think people put marshmallows in tea. But you could see here that almost all of these characters are gonna need a pantry item. This one doesn't, but I definitely don't have the ingredients to fulfill that order. And so knowing I can't fulfill any orders, I'm just gonna go ahead and end my turn. So we're gonna go ahead and refill this. So I need two up here at top. I'm gonna need four down here at the bottom. And again, kind of candy crush style. You're trying to see, oh man, what if that was green? Okay, you're trying to get clumps of things together. Okay, well I think the blue player, obviously we're gonna need more pantry stuff. Everyone's gonna need pantry stuff at some point. But what I think we're gonna do is let's go visit the market ourselves. Again, kind of the way that I like to do this is I like to just put three coins up here and then I'll spend those coins first and I'll either bring back extra or I'll pay the excess. So I'm thinking let's make these just a little bit cheaper, probably. Well, I don't have all that much money. I've got these three plus I have two more. I was wondering if I could get a whole clump of greens together, but I don't think that's gonna work. So let me just go ahead and spend the one to buy this green. And the main reason I did that is I wanted these to become cheaper. Now those are only gonna cost two. So I'm gonna grab that cluster and slide these down. Oh, and that might be too good to pass up. Ah, oh, that is too good. I could get those ones. Yeah, let's spend these two to do that. Yes, so for those two, I was able to pick up all of those ones there. Slide these down. I think I'm done at the market. I'm definitely out of money, so yeah. All right, let's get these in our pantry nice and pretty. Yeah. 
All right, I don't think I can fulfill any orders. I'm one purple ingredient, whatever that, I should have learned, looked up the names and how to, it doesn't matter. I'm one short of, oh, I need one more ginger and one more purple to fulfill this one. So I might want to reserve that before the red player catches on and takes it from me. But I can't fulfill anything this round, so I'm done for the blue player. And oh man, I'm messy. All right, so for the red player's turn, I think I'm going to play them a little bit mean right now. 12 points is too much to just give up to the blue player. So I'm going to take this other action that we haven't talked about yet. I'm going to reserve a customer and use an ability. So let's go ahead and take this guy. Well, let's start by not calling her a guy. That's not a guy. Let's take this lady, this woman, and we're going to go ahead and reserve her over here so that the blue player can't get to her. And now we can go ahead and use an ability. So let's talk about what these three different abilities are. This one means that if you fulfill, if I use this ability this turn, if you fulfill the an order this turn, then you would automatically get a three coin tip instead of going for the random tip. So that would just happen. You automatically get three coins, which is cool. This one means that you could take any two ingredients you already have and exchange them for two or pantry items and exchange them for two pantry items that are in the pantry right now. I don't have any pantry items, so that's not helpful. And I don't think I can fulfill an order, so this isn't going to be helpful. But this one means to take any one of your ingredients from your board and swap it with any one of the ingredients from this board. This wild ingredient is clearly tempting. I have plenty of berries, and there really aren't that many berries out there to be used in the orders. So let's go ahead and swap this one for this wild one. Now we have four of the six ingredients we need to fulfill this order but we don't have them quite yet, and we're gonna need pantry items for everything else, so we can't fulfill an order. That's the end of our turn. Oop, let's get this refilled. Oh my gosh, something like that. Let's go ahead and restock this one. Okay, so no matter what, we're gonna need some pantry items, so let's get serious about that. Obviously, I could fulfill this order if I had two honey, but there's no honey up here, and I don't have any coins to replenish that or to reset it. And I don't have any coins in order to pay the red player the one coin it's gonna take to fulfill these. So that's kind of a bummer, even though this one looks pretty good because I know I've got enough ginger. So maybe what I should do Let's plan on preparing to fulfill this order. Remember, you get three ingredients, so I'm gonna go ahead, I did look it up. These are not marshmallows, that's sugar. Those are sugar cubes. So I'm gonna want one of these and one of these, and let's draw a blind for the other one. Hope we get a honey, or at the very least that it will guide us towards our next decision. Um, or, actually, uh, no, before I do that, I'm looking we also have enough ingredients to almost fulfill this one or this one. So why don't I just plan on heading towards this way? Either a milk or a vanilla, whichever. Let's take that one. And again, normally you wouldn't do this till the end of your turn. Let's do it right now. One, two, still no honey. Dang it. Okay. Well, let's take these back. And we still can't fulfill any orders just yet. I'm going to need a coin in order to pay the red player. So... Okay, let's see. We've got all of these wilds. If I could get... Oh, there's just not that much ginger up at the market. I also need that. Mm. Okay, I don't see this happening soon. But I think what I'd like to do is take the market action. I know I need to do a pantry action. They're just not that much fun compared to the market action. All right, so start off with three. I'm going to spend one of these to take, uh, no, what was it? Oh, it was gonna be this one. I'm gonna take this ingredient for the one, and then I'm gonna spend these two to take all of these, and slide down. Let's see, I've got one coin over there, but I probably had better hang on to that coin. And what do we got here? Okay, I've got to be careful because I'm getting a lot of ingredients, but none of them are really moving me towards my goal. But that's where we are now. And I need to go to the pantry next turn, so I can't fulfill an order. That's the end of the red player's turn. So let's go ahead and refill the market. 
to market, to market, to buy some lemon, oh, it looks like, because there's a lot of lemon. Let's see, and one more. Okay, so I know we can fulfill one of those orders if we had money. I don't have money, so I need to take an action, a market action, to get me some money. And remember, you have to buy at least one thing, so I guess we'll just, what could we grab? I know I need one coin. Um, I guess let's spend two coins and take these, and then we'll take this one coin back. So we got our coin, we've got these for later, and we can fulfill an order. So for this order, I need to pay the red player, and I take one of these, and I have enough stuff to get this card. Oh, I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to go here. So I'm going to be using this ingredient. I've got my sugar marshmallows. I've got these and two gingers. So we fulfilled that order. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the other cup right there and flip this upside down. And that means we didn't get anything. No tip for that one, which is very sad. But you can see this is the end of the round. So we're going to reset for the new round. The way that works is we're gonna take the tips. This this wording was a little bit not super duper clear in the book, but I think they get mixed up with all of the other tips. So we'll just mix all of those up and then we assign new tips to each cup and we move on. We are now on round two. And you will just go around the table in clockwise fashion. Like the blue player had last gone, they ended the round, so it will be the red player's turn. But before that, we do need to go ahead and refill Another red card, man. I guess I need to shuffle better, who knows. All right, so we got two more ingredients up here. And the last thing that needs to happen before we start the new round is the player who's going to be going next, so the red player, they're actually gonna draw one card from this abilities pile and they're gonna replace one of the cards up here. Um, I feel like... I wanna replace, oh man, that's tough. I'm gonna to replace this one. And all you do is you just put it on top just like that. And those are the three abilities. And as I've been thinking between rounds, I really want the round marker to be here to make for a prettier picture. And with that, we probably, <laughs> I really do need to go up and visit the pantry. But I'm gonna be taking three things. Obviously, I'm gonna want some sugar. There's no milk available in the pantry, which is disappointing. Um, but there is another sugar. And I have vanilla. I could grab a couple of things. Let's go ahead and take a sugar and let's take a vanilla. And I think that's chai, if I remember right. All right. And then we'll refill while we're here. One, two, ooh, a wild. All right. And then the question is can we fulfill an order right now? And I think the answer is yes. We're going to use one of our wilds to do that. So let's go ahead and fulfill this order. So I'm gonna to need to use this ingredient, some sugar. I don't have lemon, but I'm gonna use a wild. I think that's mint and a ginger. Let's go ahead and use this one. I know that I'm kind of using up my wild tokens, but we've got to catch up. The blue player's doing pretty well right now. All right, so we'll take these and let's go ahead and use this cup here. Ooh, good, two coins. Again, I really hate making change. So as much as possible, I'm gonna use these ones. And I never said it explicitly, but I should. You can only fulfill one order at this point in the game, like during that phase, only one. So even if you could fulfill multiples, you're not allowed to. Okay, so the blue player has some milk, but nothing else. Do we visit the pantry now? I kind of think we should because this is here. So I know we're gonna need some honey. A wild would be good. Um, another milk, maybe? Probably not. Uh, let's go for the sugar. Okay, and then we'll refill. One, two, three. Oh man, all those wilds were together. I guess I didn't mix those up well either. Okay, we'll lay these out. Let's see, I could fulfill this order. I don't have any coins right now, so I can't fulfill any of these. I could maybe, no, I don't have the ingredients for that one. I don't have berries. But let's do go ahead and fulfill this one. So we're going to need this. We'll do our honey this way and our ginger. Go ahead and flip that upside down. We'll take these. 
And that ended this round here in just a second. So one coin. That was a pretty fast round, but I had kind of been building up to that quite a bit. All right, we'll get those mixed up here and go here and here. And what this special ability would have meant is that when we fulfill um, a, an order, then we would have needed one less pantry item for that order, is what that means. Um, okay, so red players next, so they're making this decision. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm trying to remember what this one is. I think this is you spend one less coin but not on wilds? Oh, no, 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 no. This card, this card isn't very clear. If you activate the ability on that card, what that means is you would pick a type and take those tiles out, and without sliding, you would just replace those tiles back in from the bag. So let's see, why don't we go ahead and let's replace this one. So we'll put these ones back in the bag. And let's go ahead and make sure we signal it is round two. We are up and we might need to do another pantry action to get some milk. So, I know I want two milk, but might as well keep these away from the blue player. So we're taking those and we'll replace. And now fulfilling orders. I mean, we really could fulfill any of these. This one's nine points though, so probably Let's do this one. So I need to take this, this. We've got the milk, so let's grab that. And we need a mint, and we'll use this one for the white stuff. <laughs> I don't know what that is. And, um, sure, we'll go over here. Oh, nice. Now the rule book doesn't explicitly say what that one is, but I think it means we just grab an ingredient of our choice. So I'm looking, I think we need a ginger. Let's go ahead and take ginger out. I'm guessing you couldn't pick a wild one, but again, doesn't really specify in the rule book, so this is my best guess. And we'll replace that. Okay, there are some pretty good opportunities here. Let's go ahead and take the visit market action. So again, I like to set up three coins like this, and I'm specifically looking for mint and berries, if possible. So I could spend two. I mean, I know that I could line those up, but that's still not gonna help me get those lined up. Oh, let's think. If I took this one for one, and that would slide down. Yeah, then it just disrupts like, it just breaks that up. All right. I think what we're going to do is let's start off. Uh, I guess let's do one. No. <laughs> oh my gosh. Could I be more annoying? Okay, we're spending two to take these two. I have one coin back there, so I've only got two all together. Uh, that's not great. That's okay, we're gonna do it. So I'm just gonna grab that coin, slide these down. I don't think that was a really good move. That's okay. Let me hurry and refill this before I forget. One, two, three. And I'm gonna be able to fulfill this order. So that was these ingredients here, plus this one. Flip that over, and we're putting those in here, which got us a coin. New card. Ooh. And we'll go ahead and flip that over there. Oh, <laughs> I don't know why I just looked at that. That was stupid. Okay, so we got this one and this one. We're up to the next round. And again, the red player is going to flip this one and look at it. That means, I think, just take one from the pantry. Um, I, don't love, I don't love this card, so let's go ahead and replace that one. Okay, somehow we've got to get three more ginger, and they're not up there, which is very silly. But if I can plan on leaving this and this alone, what else could I get with that? Well, I could do what the blue player did at the beginning and get these items here. I know that's there, that's there. This one's not there. Oh, but I already have that one. Okay, 
we're gonna do the pantry action again. We're definitely taking a milk and a honey. And looking out there, I think we're gonna want, uh, let's take a sugar. And I'm gonna be able to fulfill this order. So that would be this, this, and this, and one of these. Uh, we'll go over on this side, and we got a coin, and we got that fulfilled. Let's reset this. Ooh, that would be a good one. All right, we are one away from being able to get that for whatever that thing is, card. So let's do the market action. So start with three. We're going to spend one to take this, and that's going to slide these over. And because, I mean, nothing really needs lemon, but it's so nice that they're there. Oh, but there are a bunch of things that need berries. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spend these two to take these berries here. So now I can go ahead and fulfill this order. We've got these here. It's gonna need one of mine. And it goes over here. Oh man, no tip again. Okay, well, while we're here, let's go ahead and shuffle those up. Put this one here and this one here. Let's replenish. And we're on the last round. Red player decides where this goes. Oh, I think you just turn any ingredient in and you get two coins back. Um, sure. And I forgot to restock this. I really wish that there was some ginger, but there just it hasn't been. Mm, tons of lemon though. Ooh, and the red player could pretty quickly and easily get this one. I think we're gonna do a market action. All right, so start with three. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two coins to take these lemon. These slide down. And then we're gonna do this coin to get the whatever this is. And I mean, I do have a lot of coins, but I don't, one thought that I had was grab this berry, but I don't think I'll even have space for it. So I guess we'll just stop there. Let's take these back. All right, tons of lemon. I probably won't even need or want one of them. Yeah, what should I send? I could send anything back. I'm just gonna go ahead and return the lemon back to the bag. And while we're here, let's go ahead and refresh. So three at the top, two here, and one here. And I'm gonna fulfill this order, which means I need to pay the blue player to use one of these. Now, if a player ever runs out of these pieces, that type cannot be made anymore, and so any cards that are out are just removed from the game because they can't be made anymore. And we're gonna need these, and these, and these. I don't know, we'll go over here. Ooh, I like that. Hey, ooh, money, money, that's points. This could be a closer game than I thought it was going to be. Let's refill this. Hmm, that one's gonna be tough to fulfill. What could I fulfill? Because I need to do that. Probably this card here, and I'm gonna need to use that ability. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reserve a customer and use an ability. I'm actually not gonna reserve this one because I know I can fulfill that one this turn. Let's keep this out of the red player's hands. And I'm gonna use this ability where when I fulfill an order, I'm gonna just ignore one of the pa uh, pantry, sorry, not pastry items, pantry items. And I'm gonna do that with her. And so I'm ignoring this, so I need to pay this. Well, first, let me give this to the red player. And let's see, so, oh my gosh, sorry. <laughs> I gotta put this over here. So it was this, I'm ignoring that, and I've got my two berries. And 
Okay, we got any pantry item that we want. I don't think it'll matter since I'm pretty sure the blue player won't get any more turns. But, oh, why did I do that? I could have just picked, <laughs> sorry, uh, why not? Let's grab a vanilla, <laughs> whatever, doesn't matter. And we'll just put that right there. Now it is the end of the round, and the end of the fifth round, in fact, and so what we need to do is each player gets the same number of turns. So since the blue player went first, the red player now gets to do their last turn. And if they fulfill an order, we'll just grab a random tip token. But first we need to refill this. Let's see. Um, I could get that one. That's nine points. That might be the one. That's the most points and I could get it this turn. In fact, I already have what I need to get it. So I have my ginger, I have a berry, and I have two milks. Um, and I have my coin to pay the blue player. So what I'm going to do is I could reserve one. It won't matter. Uh, but I'm going to use an ability. Because money is points in this game, I'm going to return an ingredient to get two coins. So any of these that I'm not using, we'll just put it there, grab two coins. And then I can go ahead and fulfill the order. So I was, oh, here. All right. So we've got these, this, and this, and we'll just dump that and grab this one. Ooh, I actually thought the blue player was going to win, but now I'm thinking probably not. All right, so everyone's had the chance to take the same number of turns. We're going to go ahead and count points. Remember, points come from two main things. If you had three or more players, there would be another thing, but we're going to count points on our cards. We're going to count coins. In a three or more player game, you'd count how many types of cards that you got, one point per type of card. It's called the diversity point, it doesn't matter. All right, so let's see, we've got nine, 10, 10, eight, ten, that's 12, nine. Okay, so there's 40 points, 52, uh, 55, 58, Let's see, what have we got over here? I honestly don't know, I'm nervous. All right, so we've got a lot fewer ones to help us out. All right, so there's 20. Get rid of that. Um, that's 15, so 35. Uh, oh my gosh, 43, 51. Holy cow, that was close. Oh wait, no it wasn't, that wasn't, I thought that was 52, no that was 58, 51 to 58, nice job Red for the win on that one. Um, I really thought, oh here we go, I really thought the blue was going to have it, but no way. So that's Chai, a um, couple of final thoughts really quickly here, first of all, production value off the chart, I love it, they have really great pieces, um, I talk about it a little bit in my setup video. Um, I wish that more thought had been put into the insert. They, there is, at least in this deluxe version, an insert um, that wasn't overly intuitive and not super useful. Like, it's, it's good. I would give it a 6 out of 10. I wish it was a little bit better compared to how beautiful this game is. Components, super awesome. Uh, again, this is a Kickstarter version, so this is the Deluxified. I don't know how that's different than the regular, other than cardboard versus metal money. For sure, I know that that's one difference. Um, I, as I mentioned, I, I think I mentioned, I love Candy Crush. Um, and so this whole aspect is so much fun for me. That's my favorite thing. I often find myself neglecting the pantry because this is more fun. Um, again, I'm not quite sure. I don't know the logistics behind a Kickstarter versus regular stuff. Um, I do wish the rule book, the rule book is okay. It's really pretty. Here, let me pull it up. It's really beautiful rule book. I don't love the trifold thing. I find that is um, a little, it's more obnoxious, but kind of what I wish. So this is what? One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So this is like six pages worth of information. I wish they had just done a, a typical, like, book book. Um, just because that's easier. But also, I think they could have used one or two more pages to give you a little bit more space, but also to clarify some things. Uh, again, that might be a Kickstarter issue where there was a set, the wild stuff. I don't think that comes with the regular game, and there's a couple extra cards, and there's no explanation about those things in the book. I wish that there had been. 
And also, I wish these abilities aren't 100% clear. I wish they'd kind of expanded to give more space to explain those, some, some space to explain some of those tip tokens, just stuff like that. But overall, it's a really delightful game. It's very light. Uh, for as light as it is, it plays super quickly. Um, you can see that once people have collected things, then you start flying through orders pretty fast. There's not a, there's not a ton of time. You, can't, you really can't waste a turn in this game or else you're screwed. Anyway, overall, really positive experience. I like this game a lot. A couple of things that I might tweak just to improve it just a little bit more if there was a second printing um, or whatever. But yeah, that's my thoughts about Chai. Thank you guys for watching. I will talk to you later. Goodbye.